Alright, what's going on guys? So y'all probably remember about seven months ago, Dream posted his face reveal. And I think it's probably the biggest face reveal that we've ever seen on YouTube. The video itself had 57 million views alone, which is absurd. But I've been on here for over a decade now, and I don't think I've ever seen a worse face reveal than Dream. We talked about it at the time, it was like the biggest story, you know, I made a video on it, but long story short, the guy used to be like 300 pounds, and I guess he lost all the weight and he was feeling really good about himself, so he decided to do a face reveal, and then it ended up being the worst face reveal of all time. And, and it's not even that he looks terrible, like still to this day, I don't think he looks that bad, like he just looks like a regular guy to me. I mean, he kind of looks like a pussy like respectfully like it's okay like not everyone has to be tough you know this gotta be a balance in the world but like i don't think he looks like nasty or anything you know what i mean like there's, there's nothing wrong with him but when he posted his face reveal the number one trend on twitter that night was literally two words he's ugly and i'm not gonna lie that is actually pretty funny number one but number two that is tough though for sure like i think anyone would be bothered by that like that's pretty messed up right but like i said i honestly don't even think he's like that ugly like he, he really does look pretty like average there's a lot worse than him out here on youtube and on twitch and stuff you know what i mean i, I think the reaction was more so because he had made it into such a big deal by hiding his face and wearing this mask for so long there was so much like built up anticipation for it and he did not deliver let's just say so I, I think if he had just showed his face from the beginning nobody would have even cared nobody would have even said anything at the end of the day the one thing we have to keep in mind here is his fans are literally all 12 year old kids who watch minecraft videos on youtube you know what i mean like who gives a fuck what they have to say about anything in life you know what i mean like they're just a little kid you know what i mean they they just don't know anything about life like who cares you know what i mean regardless fast forward about a week ago he made another very big announcement he posted this video on youtube by from dream i will summarize it for you because it's kind of cringe to be fair i'm a grown-ass man who does not care about minecraft whatsoever so the video was obviously not made for people like me to watch i'm sure if i was 12 years old i would like the video but basically he says in the video that he's putting the mask back on because people are bullying him in the beginning he shows like all the mean comments and stuff and he's also deleting the original face reveal video because he wants to go back to how things were before he took off the mask and i guess apparently anywhere he goes now in public he's scared to show his face and he will be wearing the mask and i guess he's holding true to that because in the video itself he goes to mcdonald's with the mask on which you know that's kind of like a skit for the video but then after that he was shown at the NBA Finals game literally courtside with the mask on. There's another video of him shopping at Walmart with the mask on. Like, I guess <laughs> everywhere he goes now, he's actually wearing this mask in public, which is very embarrassing, man. Listen, man, first of all, this is fucking crazy, dude, okay? You can't undo your face reveal, bro. Like, the video itself had 57 million views before you deleted it, and if you add in the hundred Hundreds of millions of views from everyone else reposting the picture and the video on social media all the other youtubers and streamers showing it on their own stuff your face is probably been seen by like 300 million people bro and all you have to do is literally type in dream face reveal on google and there's a million results of it like you cannot hide that it is out there okay once something is on the internet it's there forever especially these days maybe like 10 20 years ago you could hide it it would, it would go away but nowadays once you put something out there it's out there especially something as popular as this okay so that's number one number two who the fuck cares man we all understand here that these are literally 12 year old kids maybe even younger most definitely even younger probably not too many older who play minecraft and watch your youtube videos like these are actually little children man like i understand it's a lot of hate i get it as someone who has said plenty of controversial shit online over the years i've faced plenty of 
hate over the years. I, I, I get it, not on this level, of course, but I kind of get it, you know? But it's literally little ass kids, man. Like, who cares? There is no way you are letting a mob of 12 year olds bully you into covering up your face, man. That is embarrassing, okay? You are a grown ass man. I looked it up. He's 23 years old. You can't be getting bullied by 12 year olds, man. That's crazy. Now, third of all, I don't know if you understand this. It's pretty obvious, but wearing a a giant fucking mask in public is only gonna bring even more attention to you, right? Like, all of this is online. It's on the internet. I highly doubt any of these 12-year-old kids are ever gonna see you in real life and come up to you and be like, wow, dude, you're fucking ugly, and then, you know, hit the Fortnite L dance on you or something, you know what I mean? Like, if they ever saw you in person, they'd probably come up to you and be like, oh my god, that's stream, like, can I have a picture, man? Like, you're the best, you know what I mean? Like, I, it would never be like where they just go up to you and start bullying you in person, man. Just, just think about how ridiculous that would be. Like, a little 10-year-old come up to you and be like, huh, he's ugly, you know what I mean? Like, come on, bro, that's not happening. It's just the internet, it's internet culture. But in real life, people aren't gonna be bullying you, bro. You don't have to walk around in a mask because you're worried that someone's gonna call you ugly, man. That is really embarrassing. Like, I I'm being serious. That That's terrible. A and finally... Last but not least, this might be the most important point. I'm being serious. I'm not even trying to be funny. You don't even look that bad, dude. Like, you just look like a regular person. I would actually understand if you looked like some sort of deformed, hills have eyes creature. You know what I mean? That would make sense. I actually think if you looked like some sort of freak, less people would make fun of you because people would actually feel bad about it. You know what I mean? I think the fact that you just kind of look like a normal person makes it even more funny for people to bully you. And I think that adds on to it. But all jokes aside, like, you look pretty average, man. Like, pretty normal. Like, there's nothing wrong with you. Like, I don't know if the trolling has convinced you that you look like some terrible creature or something. But seriously, like, you, you look okay, dude. It's not a big deal so yeah i don't know man that's, that's pretty much it for the video like we just have to understand one thing man you can't undo your face reveal okay so just accept it and move on ignore all the trolling it's not that serious honestly you doing all this and making such a big deal about it is only going to make people bully you even more because you clearly are bothered by it that's the worst thing you could do is is let them know that they're getting to you because they're going to just do it even worse that's just my advice you do you i mean if you want to continue <laughs> Walking around in public with the mask on because you're worried about people calling you ugly. I think that's fucking crazy. So, you too old to be doing that. But anyways, that's pretty much it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like rating if you enjoy. Subscribe if you're not already. Follow me on Twitter. Links in the description down below. Check out my last video if you missed it. It was about this like uh, tier 3 psycho Twitch stalker who showed up to the streamer's house and set fire to her car while it was like parked in her driveway and it's all recorded on camera. Actually quite an insane story. So check that video out if you missed it. But once again, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day and peace out.